y'all welcome back to the channel so today i am doing something a little bit different i'm actually preparing to go on a road trip to surprise my little sister in oklahoma of all places so um yeah that's gonna be an adventure and i'm just gonna start this vlog off with actually um trying a new tarot deck that i got actually it's not new had it since christmas but i just started kind of like actually using it i'm just kind of opening it right now it's like a casket thing. I just want to do a three card spread just to kind of like see how this is gonna go. <laughs> so let me just grab all of my cards. Now I don't want to use all of the cards because some of them are just like their cards meant for this specific deck and they're not normal cards so I have to use the chat GB G C C B G C G C chat something in order to read my reading. I'm not gonna do very well if I have to use the cards that come with this deck. So I'm just using the key cards that you use um, when you do a normal tarot. So this is my deck. It's really, really cute actually. I think I think people would really like it a lot. I know it's not all in the same order, so let me real quick just put them all in the same order and then I will shuffle them with my intention and then we will get started. All right, they are all in order. Now let me just shuffle really quickly. Like I'm doing this outside, so I'm like trying to make sure that no one's out here seeing this. Cause I don't know, is it just kind of weird to just see someone on their porch reading a tarot? I don't know, maybe it's not. All right, what is my intention? I want to see how this road trip is going to go. So I'm leaving on the 29th to stay at my sister's dad's house of all, all people. Him, my mom, my brother and I were all gonna leave from his house and then we're all just gonna, we're just gonna travel over to Oklahoma. It's, it's like a whole day trip. So how is this gonna go? How is my road trip going to go? Let's see. All right. So I'm just doing a three card spread. So the first card is the Empress. Our next card is the Hermit reversed. This is what the Hermit looks like, but he is reversed. So that's the second card. And my final card is Justice reversed. Okay, I'm gonna um look up what this means and then I will read it to you. Okay, I'm back. So I ended up writing down everything that they said on chat. A G T A G G P T G P T. I think it might be that. Anyways, the first card was the Empress. This card often represents nurture and abundance. In the context of a road trip, it could indicate a journey filled with comfort, enjoyment, and a positive experience. It might suggest a, a trip where you'll be able to relax and take in the beautiful surroundings, which is great. Love to hear it. The Hermit Reverse, that's also not a terrible one. The Reversed Hermit can signify a reluctance to be alone or introspective. In the context of a road trip, it might suggest a need to connect yourself with others and avoid isolation. It's a reminder to be open to new connections and experiences during your journey. So it sounds like I might even make a new friend, which would be amazing. <laughs> I need friends, like I really, really need friends. Anyways, okay, so. Oh, justice reversed. Now this one is a little iffy. When justice is reversed, it can indicate imbalance or unfairness. In the context of a road trip, it might suggest challenges related to decision-making, planning, or unexpected situations. It's important to approach your journey with flexibility and adaptability as things might not go according to plan, which is kind of scary when you, when you are, you know, in the context of a road trip, but we'll see how it goes, I guess, you know? The box has like a little ribbon thing and so I'm gonna put the cards that I don't really use into the box and then I'm going to put the ribbon ribbon over that set like so and then I'm gonna put the cards that I do use because they are general tarot cards over the ribbon so then I will know where they end and where the weird cards <laughs> begin I, I mean maybe one day I'll figure out how to do real tarot but like for now this is just kind of a fun thing to do. Speaking of things to expect, I am going to be doing quite a few things on this vlog. So I'm gonna be dyeing my hair. My husband and I met when I had red hair, like just straight fire truck engine red hair and he missed it and I do, I do too. I wanted to do blonde for the summer, but seeing as summer is pretty much ending, I think I'm gonna go for it. I bought two boxes of red dye. So I'm gonna go, gonna go nuts. <laughs> and what else am I doing? I'm painting my nails. I don't know if that's gonna be on the vlog though. And then I'm gonna pack with you guys because 
Why not? All right, so let's get into it, I guess. All right, so I am in the basement and we're just gonna light some, oops, looking in the camera and not in real life, gonna light some incense here. And then I'm gonna settle down for some hair dye. So what is the scent? We are doing sage and citrus for our scent. Though in my opinion, I feel like incense all kind of smells the same once it's burning, but that's just me. So there we go. This is the hair color we are going with. It is called Flame Red. It's by Nisha, I guess. And I got two boxes of this because my hair goes down to my booty. So hopefully two boxes is even enough. This is what comes in one box. So we got this guy, which is our base, our developer. And then we've got the color right here. So hopefully two is enough, honestly. <laughs> Oh, I'm kind of like scared now. All right, we'll see. Oh yeah, this is the conditioner, by the way. I was thinking I had to go to Walmart to buy some colored hair conditioner, but it actually comes with plenty. So I might not need to buy any for a little while. We done got some harsh lighting, but I am in the basement because I'm actually not allowed to dye my hair in the bathroom anymore because, well, my aunt used to do the same thing and she would stain everything in sight. So yeah, <laughs> gotta do it in the basement now. So this is what we're doing. Doing. So I'm taking the developer. We're gonna put this color thing on in. Just squeeze her in. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's so much. Okay, get in there. Doesn't want to get in. Should I just like put the nozzle in? <gasps> Bad idea. Bad idea. <laughs> it's like smushed out. Shit. What do I do? <laughs> Actually, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put my gloves on. Also, I went ahead and I put on a Chipotle t-shirt that I had from when I worked Chipotle last year. I think it was actually, maybe the year before that? No, it was last, no, it was the year before that. <laughs> okay. The years are blending together, but uh, yeah, I worked at Chipotle, so girl tip. I always save my t-shirts from my uniforms so that I can dye my hair in them later. This one's actually completely busted from when I bleached my hair. So we're just keeping along with the theme. So I'm putting my gloveys on. <laughs> and I'm just gonna like try to stuff that in. That's not working either really. We're learning together. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. No, it's still kind of at the, the tip. Don't say it. Nah. Come on. It's still just right, right there. It's just, it's right there. Do I need a bowl? So I will be right back, I guess. Okay, so I went upstairs and I got me a Tupperware bowl and I couldn't find anything to mix with. So I grabbed a plastic fork. It works, right? Or hopefully it does. I'm gonna put my gloves back on and we're gonna try this again. Only I could fail at absolutely everything. So I'm just gonna pour what I already mixed into this. I really hope the Tupperware doesn't stain, but we'll see, I guess. Get all up in there. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. It looks like raspberry watermelon puree. Okay, that's pretty much all I'm gonna get from the developer. And then I'm gonna squeeze the rest of this colorant into the bowl. And then we're gonna do the same with the other two from the second box. How do I already have dye all over my glove? Oh my God, just whatever, it's fine. Alrighty, so next step is to take my handy dandy fork and <laughs> we're just gonna mix it up. Hopefully a fork is good enough. Ooh, consistency isn't too shabby. I, it's really red. Oh my God. <laughs> I totally thought it was gonna smell good. So I took a big up close and personal sniff and that was just straight chemicals. Okay. Oh my God, did I brush my hair? Oakley dokely. So I have my hair freshly brushed. You know those like, those knots in the back of your head that like just stay there? I don't know if, if it's maybe like just a me thing or like a depression thing or something, but like, you know, when you just can't get that one knot in the back of your head. Well, I finally got it. I was just afraid of dyeing my hair with that thing. So we're just gonna go ahead and do this thing. I have such long hair it goes down to my butt crack so like I'm really hoping this is enough but I'm just gonna like wing it and use my hands let's just go man let's just do it
tie that up in a big old bun like that. And I still have so much dye left over. I have like, <laughs> I feel like I didn't even use half of it. Like I could have just used one box, but hey, at least we're safe. Ooh, it kind of tangles. Like it kind of burns a little. It says in the first step to, to actually use a bowl. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to set a timer for 30 minutes then. It's 2.20. So to at 2.50, we will take our hair and rinse it out. What a waste of money. Oh my gosh. Like that's so much to have to throw away. Bruh, my head burns. Like this actually burns. And I have stuff all over my face and neck. Ugh. Back to red, back to being fiery. It is insane, look at my hair. This hasn't looked like this in a long time. It's so bright. Oh, I'm so excited. I put a little lipstick on to kind of accentuate it. And I also am kind of like starting to feel like maybe I made a mistake because I love this color, but it didn't stop bleeding when <laughs> I was trying to rinse it. So the weather in Oklahoma where I'm gonna be going is gonna be in like the 90s and hundreds and I'm going to a festival and sleeping in a tent and I didn't rinse it all the way out. So I'm, I'm afraid that I'm gonna have red dripping down my face when I'm actually at the festival. So I'm a little nervous about that, <laughs> but it looks cute right now. And I had to throw on some makeup too because uh, I have red all over. You can kind of see it too. And then you can really see it on my neck, but I'm covering it up with, with an earring, a red earring. I really, 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 really like it. Okay, so I, I think we should go to Walmart next actually because I wanna grab a fan for the tent because I am not trying to sleep without a fan in a tent. Like honestly, I'm bringing my own pop-up too. So I'm gonna be sleeping in a tent by myself. I've never slept in a tent by myself. So I'm a little nervous because like, I don't know, my mom has like a really bad horror story about sleeping in a tent, but my tent will be right next to everybody else's. So it should be fine. <sighs> oh my gosh. I'm just, I'm, I'm over the moon because I really love my hair right now. I really, really like it. Okay, I, I wasn't like sure how I felt at first, but now that I'm kind of like seeing it on camera, I can actually, I actually really like it. So yeah, we're gonna run to Walmart. I need to get a fan and I think I need, sh I should still probably get some hair color treated conditioner. So I'm gonna get some of that too. I have Garnier fr Fructis for colored hair for shampoo, but I did not get the conditioner for whatever reason. And then after we go to Walmart and get our stuff, we're gonna start packing. Oh my goodness. It is a long day actually, and it's only just turning four right now. So yeah, all right, let's get to it. Now for the actual packing process, I have this coffin-shaped weekender that I have not used in a really long time. Actually, I have a lot of junk in it right now, but I'm gonna probably just go ahead and empty that out and then probably put some of my clothes in there. So maybe we should just pick out like some clothes to wear and then I'll stuff this upstairs. Foxy, Foxy, Foxarella. Oh, you're so pretty. I'll talk to you. Foxy. <laughs> Dude, look what my husband found at Hot Topic today. Are you kidding me? Like, if anybody knows, then you know. Strawberries and cream, cream savers. Dude, these are coming with me on my road trip for sure. Okay, so I brought everything up to my bedroom from the basement and I got a lot of, I mean, it's gonna be in like the 90s and hundreds, right? So I, I'm, I'm dressing for the weather. Unfortunately, most of my short, my shirts are black, but I did find one like pullover thing that's like white and lace. It's got black trim, but it's something. These are my favorite shorts. I get compliments on these everywhere I go. They're so cute. They hang down on your legs and it's like, I don't know. It, it's really, really cute. You could wear them dancing. Like they're so flippity floppity and beautiful. <laughs> Got some cute little lined lacy shorts. I mean, I don't really have that many shirts. I'm kind of nervous about it because of the weather, but like, I mean, I'm packing a lot of like sleeveless shirts and I am weird about my arms. So like, this is gonna be definitely out of my comfort zone, but I guess we're just gonna embrace it cause we're just gonna be hot and I'm going to choose comfort over looking cute, okay? Speaking of cute though, I really wanted to show you my favorite pair of underwear. And is this weird? <laughs> is this weird? I just think these are so cute. Aren't they? Look at the little alien and the uh, the tie dye. I love that. So we are going to pack all of this into that suitcase. It's not even a suitcase. It's just called a weekender. It's my cute coffin. This is a better view of it. And on the flip side, 
Let me see my kitty. It is so scratched up for my cat, which is really unfortunate because this was like $70 when I first got it. But yeah, it's got a cross on the other side and a buttload of scratches. And then I also actually broke it. I was tugging on it a bit too hard and the strap just came off. So I think I'm gonna sew it tonight and then I'm gonna pack my suitcase. So I also had the idea, I'm going into my car because I have this thing that I just got for the back seat and I'm gonna be in the back seat during this whole road trip, so I figured I'm just gonna add this to the back seat so I have like a place to put all my stuff. By the way, I also did my nails, so these are what they're looking like right now. They're not the best because I'm not a good nails person. I just, you know, had to do my feet and my, my fingertips. So this is what I have right now. So I just, I have my weekender and I actually, I didn't end up fixing it. I just kind of tied the loose end to the, the end that's not loose, so let me show you. So this is kind of what I'm talking about. I just made it like one big loop because even with my leather needle and thread, it just still was not gonna work. And all of these culprits are coming over here to investigate. I also have this backpack with like some essentials in it. I ended up putting the batteries into this fan so it should be ready to go. Got my makeup, which we might not even use. We'll see. We got the back seat thing and this is some towels and also a place to put like my dirty laundry as I wear it and then down in the basement I have prepared that is my pop-up tent it's just a huge cylinder that gets really flat there is my blanket that I take with me everywhere. We have my sleeping mat, another towel. Actually, I didn't pack that. I don't know why that's there. And I'm pretty sure my sleeping bag is in the dryer right now. So yeah, we are ready to go, guys. Well, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And I will see you all in my very next video. Bye, loves. Mwah.